Okay, so first of all, in order for this to work, the spreadsheet needs to be converted into a CSV file. This is nice and easy to do. Just go to File and Save As, then change the file type to a CSV file and save it. Then we're going to go and open up the website. So search for Plot Me, Plot All. And this is the website here that we want. Now you can load data that's already on the app just to practice if you want, or you can download your own data, but it has to be in a CSV file format. So I'm going to browse to find the file that we just made and open. and now it's been uploaded. In order to plot the correlation matrix, you have to select something for the X and Y variables, but it doesn't matter what you select because the correlation matrix will use all of the variables. You just have to have selected something in order for it to work. Then tick the correlation box and submit change. And here is the correlation matrix. Now, obviously a problem with this is that all of the headings are overlapping with the matrix. The first thing I tried to fix this was to change the text size. So if we make this a lot smaller and then go up here and submit change, you can see it makes the headings a lot smaller so they no longer overlap as much, but it also makes all of the numbers a lot smaller as well. So I'm going to change this back and submit change. And now my solution for this was to go back to the spreadsheet and actually change the headings in the spreadsheet. So I'll insert a new row up here, then do equals, left, select this, and then choose three characters. And this will change all of the headings. So I see just the first three letters of each heading and I'll copy this and paste it in here as values and then delete the top row. Then save changes. We can now go back to the website and browse and reload the spreadsheet and open then we'll have to select X and Y variables again. And the correlation box is still ticked and then submit change. And now this looks a lot better. We can also go down here and add in a legend. I'll put it on the right hand side and submit change. And now we have a legend in here as well. And we can also use a subset of the columns so we can filter out just the columns we want to use. We don't have to use all of the columns in the spreadsheet. So I can look through the matrix and just filter out the ones that look like they have a good correlation. So I'll do industry, power plants, solvents, agriculture, uh, residential and commercial, and surface transport, and then submit change. And now you see we have a smaller correlation matrix with just the good correlations. I'll just quickly undo that because I want the whole thing and submit change. And now if we want to save this correlation matrix as an image, we can right click and copy image and then paste it into a Word document and we can also right click and save image as and actually save it as a picture. And then we have it saved as a picture so we can use it later on if we want. Okay, so a disadvantage of this is that we don't really have any control over the formatting or the way the correlation matrix looks. But the advantage of this is that it's nice and quick and easy to do and that you don't have to download any software for it or pay for it or anything like that. 
So in this video, I have shown you how to use plot all to make a correlation matrix. And that is everything.